Hey my just what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hey girl, hey, thank you so much for joining us for today's vlog. So today you guys, I got quite a bit of stuff going on. So today's Friday. Y'all know Friday is a super busy day at the shop for Quan, so he's gonna get off around seven. And I'm saying all this to say, I also have to go to work today. This is my third day working this week. I've loved it. It's giving me the mental break that I need. And overall, I'm just really enjoying being there for the little bit of time that I am there. And that's the whole point of me even getting that job in the first place. So like I said, I'm loving it. It's been great. But today I have to go to work. Um, I have to be at work at five tonight. So I'll be going from five to 10 or close. So with that being said, Quan doesn't leave the shop until seven. So that leaves either me being late to work two hours or plan B, which plan B is going to be Quan's mom volunteered. I'm so grateful for her volunteered to watch the kids in between those two hours while, um, until Quan gets off work. Because like I said, I have to close tonight. So Quan will be here probably around like 7, 38 maybe. And um, she's going to watch the kids in between that time. Y'all know I don't usually um, get like babysitters or nobody to watch the kids because that's personal choice. And I, I have my kids. So y'all know. Y'all know I always go down this little spill. But like I said, I'm so grateful that she keeps, that she is going to come over here and sit with the kids. The kids are super excited. Um, but I'm saying all that to say because I'm not used to people watching the kids like that i am setting up a i'm trying to make things as easy as possible for their nana so i'm going to do like a little caddy with diapers and wipes and just all the things i feel like she's going to need right here keegan is down here kissing on his mother i'm giving him um i'm gonna have the diapers and wipes and everything set up i'm gonna have all of his formula and bottles prepped so that she doesn't have to do much but literally relax and watch the kids i don't want her feeling like she has to do too much because this right here gets overwhelming for me so just imagine it getting overwhelming for somebody who's who these kids don't even belong to you know what i'm saying so i just want to make it easier for her not only that i have to today's friday on fridays i clean the kids bathroom so i'm going to be cleaning their bathroom because it is a mess um and what else i gotta do i gotta make my bed and i gotta get myself together for work later on but right now i'm just gonna be kind of like prepping stuff for his mom to make things easier for her um i was supposed to be doing charlie's hair today also kamari has a uh sponsorship review type thing i have to film with him so i don't know um you guys will probably see that after this vlog because i know this vlog probably not going to be like super long because like i said i'm going to be trying to get things done and prep and then once i go to work that's going to be the end of it but right now we are chilling i woke up this morning with the scratchiest throat i don't know if you guys can tell but i drank some hot tea i literally put two bags of hot throat i literally put two tea bags of the hot um it's called throat coat tea and it helped my throat so much so hopefully and i put some honey in it as well so it was worse this morning so that's that the hair is giving unloved today so this is why i'm rocking the bonnet up until i go to work and i have no choice but to do my hair but yeah it's giving unloved so today i'm giving bonnet if you don't like it baby girl you can leave okay okay right mimi if they don't like mommy's bonnet they can leave <laughs> keegan saying hi charlie and noble stop don't do that to them charlie and noble are right there I got a vacuum. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a vacuum in the living room and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this vlog so that I can get all the things that I need to get done, done. And I'm going to tap in with you guys at some point. Hi, Mr. Man. Hey, Mr. Man. Hey, Mr. Man. You going to sit right here and be good for mommy? You going to sit right here? No crying? Mommy has to get stuff done. Are you going to let me get some stuff done? Yeah? I did it, yeah? <laughs> okay, y'all, so he's refusing to sit in his swing, which is over here because, one, it is out of batteries, or the batteries died. And I put him in a freezer. Hopefully, it works temporarily until Quan gets here. But um, his swing is not swinging. He does not want to be in it. So, with that being said, he's right here. He's over here. Chill him out for a little second so that I can go prep your stuff, okay? I gotta prep your stuff for Nana. Okay? You gonna be a good boy for Nana's? 
You could be a good boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm always a good boy, mommy. Yeah. So I'm about to prep his formula. I'm gonna just show you guys this super cute little handy dandy formula container. I got this from Walmart for like $3. I need to get another one because I use this thing for everything. Nighttime, like bedside bottle prep, diaper bag for when we go out so that I don't have to take this massive fat formula can. Um, and then today I'm gonna be using it for, to prep bottles for Quan's mom so she don't have to worry about it. So what I like to do, this right here can give you three bottles. It has three different compartments in it like this. And this is awesome. I use this with King as well when he was a baby. I didn't use it with the other kids. I should have. But I literally just put two and a half scoops in each one. Um, and that's a bottle because he drinks five ounces. So I give him two and a half scoops. Y'all know he drinks this Nature's Best Organic Formula, which I am starting to see going out of stock more. I went to Publix and Walmart the other day to try to grab him a can. I'm only trying to be greedy because it's already a formula shortage, but I see that everybody else is being greedy. And I don't wanna be that mom, let me go get Kamari. I don't wanna be that mom that don't have formula for their baby because I'm trying to be nice to everybody else and everybody else ain't being nice with the formula. So I'm going to try to go find him some formula at Target. I'm gonna try to get the big can. I'm gonna get like two or three big cans if they have them. Um, but yeah, like I hate to be like that, but the shortage, it's not nobody's fault, honestly. I don't feel like it is. And then again, it could be people putting, they putting the stuff out and then people are just getting it because they're scared. I don't know what the whole thing is, this formula shortage, but it's happening, okay? And your girl gotta be prepared. My baby gonna eat regardless, so. I don't know about y'all, but my baby gonna eat. So here it is, this three little compartment thing. I'm gonna just sit it right here on the counter. I was telling you guys in another video that I was going to do like a formula station, yes? Yes? He He's just supposed to be in our room cleaning up and they're fighting. Okay. So, um, let me get Kamari. It's too much going on, y'all. Mr. Mr. Man, yeah, she can be fat booty. Okay. So, what was I even saying, y'all? Um, my brain. It'd be so much going on. I'd be forgetting my train of thought. Oh, okay, so I told you guys in another video that I was going to be doing a like formula station for him. And I found a, I don't know what you call it, a dispenser, like the little dispensers that you put stuff in. It is glass and it's shaped like a mason jar. I got it from Five Below. I went there the other day for something and I seen it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this will be perfect to put his water in. Um, Why do you keep jumping? Let me see you right here. See right here, Mr. Man. Because um, you are a chunk. Mommy's already out of breath. So, I bought this glass can, I mean, this glass dispenser at Five Below, and it is a gallon, and it worked so well for him. And then I still have not found a um, canister to put his formula in to make it look a little better than having this sitting on my counter. It drives me crazy having this sitting on the counter. I know, y'all, it's not that deep. But um, I wanna find like one of those glass canisters that they put like Oreo cookies in, all cute and fancy. I don't know who sells them. I have not seen them at my Target, um, but I don't want one that's like super big. I know they come in different sizes. I just need one that's just nice, small, petite, right to the point. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys this little station right here um, so you guys can see. And if you guys wanna do it, and let me know down in the comments if y'all know where those canisters are at because your girl needs one for his formula. I'm gonna show you guys my little setup. But I like it and I can't wait to find a little canister so to make it a little cute on the counter without too much going on. Um, Quan's mom is ordering pizza for the kids tonight. Yay, that means your girl do not have to cook. So I don't have to prep any like food for dinner tonight. She's a lifesaver. <laughs> um, because with all the things I have to do um, to prep them for work, for me going to work, I, I can't add cooking to the mix, okay? So I'm grateful that she's doing that. She'll be here a little early. She said she'll get, come when she gets off work. So I'll probably order the pizza closer to that time since it's gonna be like a dinner type thing. Um, she's gonna be here, I told you guys, for only two hours. So they'll be good until their daddy gets here. But yeah, so we have prepped his formula. I am going to pre-fill some of his bottles. Um, pre-fill these with purified water, clean them out, and have those already ready for her so she could literally just have, I want things to be so smooth for her. She don't mind keeping the kids ever. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, for real, I really want it. I don't want her to have to like be searching for stuff. And yeah, so his formula is done for now. Now I need to oh, put together his little diaper caddy for him and Noble's diapers and stuff like that. And things I feel like that she could possibly need during that time. Um, and yeah, it's super gloomy out. It's muggy. I'm trying to track the time. King has about an hour and a half before he gets off the bus. I'm glad it's Friday. It's supposed to be fun Friday, but I have to work. So I don't know how late the kids are going to stay up. We let them do their thing on Fridays, but we'll see how everything plays out. But for right now, we got to get together. Your little diaper caddy for Nana. Are you ready for Nana to watch you? Are you ready for Nana to watch you? Yeah. Then mommy daddy. Then mommy man. Then mommy be fat man. Then mommy be fat man. So yeah, y'all, let me get his um other stuff together so that we can be done and I can get myself together for work. And by, when I'm done doing that, I can just sit and chill and love on my babies until I leave for work tonight. But before I go do that, I wanted to show you guys the little station that I have set up for him. This right here, like I said, was only $5 at five below. It is a gallon. Um, it holds a gallon of water or whatever type of drink you want to put in there. And it was only five bucks. It's a glass mason jar. I freaking love it so much, y'all. It was so easy to put together. You only had to put on this little spout right here. And it came with directions. Like I said, I want to get something for the formula to go in. So let me know down in the comments if y'all know what canister I'm talking about and where I can get it from because that would help me out so much. But for now, this is what our little formula station is looking like. And he needs to get his bottles clean. So I usually have his bottles sitting right here on the counter as well, already with the water in them to just make it easier for me. But I have to wash them. So, yeah. So I'm going to use this basket for his little caddy thing for when his Nana comes. And I'm just going to put a few things in here, just things I might, I think that she might need. Um, and so she don't have to like go look for them. So I put baby powder i got a small pack of wipes in here i got some mittens because he is a scratcher honey he will scratch his face up and scratch yours up as well um i got some socks because his little feet be getting cold um i got an extra passy for him diaper rash cream he doesn't have a diaper rash but sometimes his booty can be a little red when we take um his diaper off um i also got some hand sanitizer so that she can Put that on her hands and she's done changing him. Y'all know I have his little formula. I don't know if I'm going to put that in there or not. I got a little syringe. I also have the uh, electric nose aspirator as well. Gas drops because he does get a little gassy if he doesn't burp good. And then, of course, diapers. I'm going to add some more. And then this little sleeper onesie just in case he messes up his little outfit. So, that is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it up and put it in here real neat and then show you guys what it looks like so i threw everything in there y'all and this is what it's looking like i'm gonna go get him a bottle or two prepped so she don't have to do that and i put a little blanket right here so she can sit right here with him and just be good and set okay y'all so as you guys can hear it is very quiet in here um noble's over there napping kamari is napping he's not letting me get anything else done um it is about to be three o'clock <laughs> And I have to get up and get myself together for work. Um, but I'm saying all this to say, I did clean the kid's bathroom, so that's good. I did it. I had to do it while he was being fussy, so I was, like, rushing. So it was, like, a very fast clean. Um, can't tell you that it was thorough as it usually would be. But um, he wasn't going for it. So I hurried up and cleaned the kid's bathroom. And I also cleaned my room and made my bed so there's that so basically everything is nice and clean and um charlie and kamari charlie and keegan are in the room right now chilling um i don't know why my nose ring keep doing that uh speaking of nose ring i'm thinking about getting another piercing you guys um i haven't quite decided on it yet but i really want it and i've been kind of like doing my research um, I'm surprised you guys. I ain't gonna tell y'all what the piercing is because I don't need y'all trying to talk me out of it because I want it. So, yeah. Um, but hopefully I'm gonna be able to transition him into my bed and lay him down so that he can get a nice, good, stretched out sleep. And I'm gonna try to get myself together for work. 
I ain't got to do much. I think I'm going to just put on my lashes. Um, I'm debating if I should wear Crocs today. I just want to chill, you know? Like, I'm just on the chill vibes. So, I might put on, like, some sweats and my Crocs. And, um, yeah, because it's super rainy outside. And I'm just not in the mood to, like, dress up. Plus, I got to do my hair. So, I really need to lay my baby down. But, I don't think I'm going to be able to film anything else in this vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed the little stuff that i did do um in order to prep for the nana to come over here and watch them i know this is not like a typical day in the life vlog that you guys like but it's something okay so work with your girl um so yeah i love you guys so much Thank y'all for tuning in to today's video and we'll see you guys in another video really, really soon. Actually, me and Kamari have a video coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to film and try to edit it and drop it tomorrow. We'll see. Um, But yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you all for the love, the support, following us on this journey. Your girl is a working mom now, okay? I can't wait to go in and punch this clock. And um, at this point, I'm just rambling. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye y'all.